Hello everyone, Movie Man Chatty here with Movie Man Chatty Mom. And we saw another movie together. Mom, what movie did we see together? The Darkest Hour. The movie from 2011 where these spaceships come into these, with these kids that are in Russia? Or did we actually just see darkest hour I am sorry. <laughs> there is a movie no 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 we're not going to because there is a movie that came out i think in 2011 called the darkest oh, hour around christmas time and it bombed and nobody saw it and i still haven't seen it yet no this one is called darkest, darkest hour, hour. <laughs> hey, <sorry. laughs> oh, that was fun okay so darkest hour is the latest film from the great director joe wright after the awful maybe overly ambit probably is yes is overly ambitious pan that was panned and now he's back with with material that i think he is more comfortable in and tackling uh, either a, a true story or a story from the United Kingdom. Of course, this one revolves around the life of, or actually a few days of the life of Winston Churchill mm -hmm. and how he became prime minister and his relationship to uh, his country and to his family and to the upcoming war with the Nazis. Um, I was very excited to see this film. I'm a big fan of Joe Wright, and, and I've, I think I've seen all of his movies. And I, I pretty much either like or love all of his films, except for Pan. And I thought I was, I was really excited to see the movie for those reasons, you know, it being a Joe Wright film. But, of course, the main reason is that Winston Churchill is, is shockingly played by unknown, almost like forget that it actually is... The great Gary Oldman, because I didn't see Gary Oldman on screen. I saw Winston Churchill. Even of course, I've never met the man, but I've seen you know a few times in my life where we get to see these movies, and Winston Churchill is a character. Like in The Crown, Winston Churchill is played by who, mother? John Lithgow. Yeah, and did you did you think it was John Lithgow, or did you think it was Winston Churchill in The Crown? It was amazingly Winston Churchill. Yeah, I mean we've we've, we've had some really good incredible representations on on film and on television of this iconic real character real person um but i was excited because it was gary oldman i think gary oldman is one of the greatest actors ever and he's so good at playing somebody so bad and it's always nice when he plays somebody so good and in this one i think he's taking on the most challenging role of his entire career and does it work for him well let's find out what my mom thinks first mom what did you think of darkest hour I thought it was really well acted. I thought it was really, uh, they made the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The makeup, makeup the, the, what Persona? do you call the, No, the, yeah, around the, the <laughs> what do you call it? The Your double chin? No, no, no. The, oh. the scenery. Oh, uh, the production, the production, the production art direction. was amazing yeah. and how they did the historical scenery. And, oh, yeah, it was, I've never seen Gary Oldman act so well i mean i know he's done a fabulous job but i think he did he was amazing just absolutely amazing i, I feel like he truly uh became, became the part, the part mm -hmm. uh truly became the character <clears throat> yeah. uh it just you know from the pictures we've seen probably s some other uh, versions of, of Winston Churchill on screen. I feel like he was, you know, how he handled his cigar and how he walked with his cane and how he interacted with the rest of the cast, which also includes Christian Scott Thomas as his wife. And Lily James plays like the secretary that kind of helps him write out his speeches. Um, and, and, and then, of course, the rest of the, of the cast as well. And I think Ben Mendelsohn uh, plays uh, King George in this film. Uh, most notably, played of course in the king's speech by colin firth um but you know all these all these all these he actually looked a little more like the real king george his profile was similar as i looked at some of the profile shots i thought wow he kind of looks like the real guy more than colin firth did so you think ben Mendelssohn, even though you love colin first oh no, you know he's, acting he's, uh, you just said like ben Mendelssohn kind of really looked like looked king george hard. yeah he almost looked like a little bit more the guy of Queen Elizabeth's father, more than uh, most, a lot of the actors would have been played by the Fox brothers, <laughs> which do look a lot like 
King George and his brother, who look almost very much alike. But it's just fascinating um, how they became, both of those guys became that part and did a great job of, of um, well, I don't know if I should give that away. This will be a spoiler review. Spoiler review. Spoiler review. Uh, of course, this movie's about history, uh, but there's some things I do want to. Hopefully, if you hopefully you get a chance to see the movie first, stop the review, and then come back and watch our the rest of our review uh, that I want to share because I have like one of my favorite scenes in the film. Uh, what did you want to spoil? No, just saying how they came together. Yeah, uh, maybe they didn't agree at first, and how the king and Winston Churchill actually seem to come together and maybe become. I think they were. Uh, they got to be better friends and better um, they worked together better than they did at first when he really didn't want him to become prime minister uh, yeah I did like that they had there's a few scenes that they have together and you know uh, Gary Oldman is fabulous in film he is the main reason you need to see darkest hour uh, it's just a incredible performance that I hope in this dark an hour yeah sorry <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I just messed up what I was going to say. But <clears throat> thank you. I had a senior moment. <laughs> In this darkest hour when times are tough, now is the time for Gary Oldman to be nominated once again for an Oscar and win the Oscar. I has. think he was nominated in 2011 for Tink Tinker Taylor Solar Soldier Spy uh, for supporting actor. And I think that's the only time he's ever been nominated. Yeah. And the guy's just had incredible role after incredible role. You know, he's he's the prisoner of Azkaban oh, yeah. in Harry Potter. Uh, he plays this crazy, coked-up drug dealer in True Romance. Mm -hmm. He's been S Sid Vicious in Sid and Nancy. And he's just an amazing... This guy is... And there's a huge list of what he's done. And now he is playing Winston Churchill, uh, a, a person that is so beloved by his people, <laughs> by the people of England, yeah. and uh, the history of World War II, and and all that stuff. But I, I, what I really loved about this film, and this is where we get into spoilers, is that you know just recently, in a few months, last few last summer, I should say, there was a movie. <clears throat> Sorry, there was a movie about Dunkirk called Dunkirk. And so we get to see that movie is perspective of the soldiers that were there during during that time. And in this film, we get to see the war room where they're all sitting around talking and figuring out what they're going to do with Dunkirk. And you got to get to see what Winston Churchill was doing in that situation. So I felt like this was a wonderful companion piece, companion piece to Dunkirk. You could watch Dunkirk and then find out how they all sat around and talked about it and it's so interesting it's not boring it's not boring to you know to, you know sometimes like real politics like real politics can be very very boring and and tedious but because of the acting and the production value and the great direction by Joe Wright and the great script and the, and the history behind it all this movie is one of the best films in my opinion of 2017 and uh, you have to see it if, if you're not really that excited about it, please go check it out if you're a huge fan of Gary Oldman. It's the main reason to see this film. I forgot that I Gary Oldman was even in the film. I mean, there's only times where, like, you know, because Winston Churchill wears glasses, and so when Winston Churchill would take off the glasses, I could see the eyes of Gary Oldman. That was, like, the only time when he had the glasses on and, and he's walking around. And I mean, even though when he did have the glasses off, I felt like he was still uh, embodying the soul of Winston Churchill. But... Mm -hmm. It was just a fabulous performance. Um, there's another uh, thing I want to say before I let my mom talk right now. Uh, one of my favorite uh, scenes in the film. So quickly, share a few more thoughts of the of Darkest Hour. Oh, me? Any, any more uh, thoughts before we close out the review? Anything else you like? Did you like the music? Did you like the acting from Chris and Scott Thomas and Lily James? Would you like to have seen them more? I think I would have liked to have seen them more in the film. I did like some of the relationships he had with the parliament and the all the um all the insanity that goes on with politics and stuff like that that was nice i would have liked to see a little bit more of that but anything else you want to say before we close out this review before i share my favorite scene in the movie which was probably one of my favorite scenes also mom what was your favorite scene in the film <laughs> go ahead and spoil it no the one you're gonna say but no but i really like the the camaraderie he always or at least we 
we thought. We hope. I hope it's true. This film is based on a true story, but of course, some things have been changed for dramatic reasons. Loosely based. Loosely based. Yeah, and uh, no, what some one of my favorite parts was when he talks to his wife because they seem to have a very close relationship, and that I was I like that and how uh, they could talk to each other and how they cared about each other, and also. Um, I really, you know, enjoyed uh, his speech at the end because that's a very famous speech, and I I remember hearing a lot about it and uh, and reading it. So I really thought he did a fabulous job on the speech at the end. Yeah, after we you know after movie's over, you get up and you leave, and I felt like after that scene was over, I wanted to get up and cheer with the rest of the rest of Parliament. It was so incredible, and that sequence was so great. And I liked that the the I liked that the people that uh, had uh, more of a different point of view of going to war with the Nazis or going to war against the Nazis, and they were like, "We'll we'll talk after uh, we'll talk after Winston Churchill gives his speech." But then his speech was so powerful that they're just like. I, uh, we're going to war. Here we go. We're going to war. Um, but it's fascinating. I think if anybody's like a huge history buff uh, and interested in history and especially interested in World War II will really enjoy this film because uh, it's it was just really well made, well thought out, um, well crafted film about not only a man but about a country and how they were going to deal with a certain situation that, that could have been if it handled improperly you would have maybe left the aisles of the theater. You left the theater because you weren't that interested in what was going on. But no, everybody stayed. <laughs> everybody stayed. But I'm saying Gary Oldman just kept me. I was just transfixed, staring into his. How he spoke and how he, he even did some of the, the way he talked was you could hear almost little Winston Churchill in there. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I really could because I when you hear I've heard Winston Churchill speak as far as in documentaries and. Uh, it was amazing how he must have studied him somehow to get some of that down so well. It was fascinating. But go ahead, tell me your favorite. I imagine that Gary Oldman, yeah. since he is one of the greatest living actors, did his homework because it oh, definitely yeah. shows on screen. And I really hope, even though Oscars really don't matter, Academy doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. And I don't. I almost feel like Gary Oldman's like, you know what? I've had a great career. I've been able to play so many different characters. I don't need your yeah. I don't need your approval. But as someone who likes to see actors and actresses get rewarded for their 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 work, and they never do, and Gary Oldman's a prime example, where it's someone who's made so many amazing performances and never really got the credit I feel that is due to him. So I would like to him to take home gold. So concluding this review, in the movie, you know Winston Churchill, played by Gary Oldman, uh, you know he he I think he wants to be the ma- uh, man of the people he wants to be around them he wants to uh, you know feel like he is the common man and he's been put in this this, this situation and gonna do the best job he can so like there's 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 a little bit of that a running theme through the film I felt and then near the end of the movie there's a there's a time where he decides he's been talking about the underground which is the railroad system uh, the, subway. the subway system and there's an opportunity where he kind of gets away from all his handlers and goes into the underground to go I, I'm guessing go to you know go to Parliament to give that great speech um, and he gets to kind of be with the people the average people on the train, on the train and, and get their point of view and sometimes we live in a world where all we see is the news point of view or just the political people, the polit- polit- politics, they're, po- how do you say it, mom? Yes, those evil people, the politicians, their point of view. And so sometimes we don't get to hear just the average person's point of view. And so I thought that was scene was probably the most emotional sequence in the entire film and showed a different side to what we've seen from Winston Churchill throughout this movie. We get to see a more human side to him and how he kind of relates well, with... Ask them questions and wanted their... What was your opinion on this? And then yeah. he actually got a bricklayer, uh, uh, these women, and he talked to a black man. And yeah. uh, fascinating. The this kid. guy and a young girl. And he just talked to these people. And it was amazing how... That they were involved and they had done, they actually seemed like they were knowledgeable about what was going on. They weren't like stupid or any, you know, like, oh, we don't know what's going on. Uh, whatever you do, you do. But they actually became, you know, he would say something and he quoted um, 
uh, he quoted a I can't remember who, what book it was from Cicero but anyways he had quoted made a quote and then the black man just because he had probably read the same book showed how intelligent and that he had he knew what he was talking about and then he kind of uh, he took over and just finished his sentence and and he was and and uh, Winston Churchill showed him so much respect I was just floored on I really like that part too yeah I think it's it's one of the the uh, nicer moments of this film and it's mm-hmm. just so it's it's a movie main, mainly from the perspective of the you know the people that are kind of running the war not the people that are on the grounds um, and again if it was handled improperly you might have been bored after the first 10 minutes but it's 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 handled in a very uh, uh, complex yet interesting and beautiful way and overall, I, I was just, again, just the performances alone are the reasons I highly recommend this movie. And it had my attention all throughout the two hour and five minute film. I really did love the film. So that's our opinion of Darkest Hour. Thank you so much for checking out this video. In the comment box below, let us know what you thought of the film. You've got a chance to see it. And also, what is your favorite Joe? The question for this video is what is your favorite Joe Wright movie? Mine would be. Hannah. I love Hannah from 2011. Mom, you're probably from 2005. You probably love... Pride and Prejudice. Ding, 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 ding. All right, everyone. Bye. Live film. Thank you so much for watching Movie Man Chatty and Movie Man Chatty Mom saying goodbye. Have a great rest of your day. Wave so good, mother. (laughs) Oh, like this? Prince, 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 Prince. We're, we're done now. Can we leave now? We're going. Bye.